Oh, it was the kid from next door. She came over to commiserate about the Emmy. Sounded very friendly. Oh, she's a complete pain in the ass. I made a pass at her, stressed Liz out. Now the stupid kid won't leave me alone. I was worried you were gonna come down. Oh, mm. I'd hardly do that. God, you look terrible. Probably because that's how I feel. Oh. I'm gonna make something to eat. Do you want anything? No, none for me, thanks, oh. Julie. Why haven't they phoned? You don't think anything's going wrong, do you? How could it? After last night, very easily. You're positive no one saw you coming out of her room. Even if they did, I'd have every right to be there. Well, this isn't how we planned it, Julie. But the result's the same. <sighs> the results would have been the same if we blew her fucking brains out. Stop worrying. Mike, I'm telling you, it's over. We're not getting away with it. Mike, stop shouting it. Alright, she stepped on the pad, set off the music, right? She saw your lipstick on the mug, she found your jacket up the fucking bedroom. So why should she connect that with Liz dying of a heart attack? It's not gonna happen, Michael. And as for the press, trust me, that little bimbo is not gonna join the papers. I know her kind, she's all tough. Baby, but she's not. I told you everything would be all right. All you had to do was trust me. You thought she was dead. Yeah. It was dark, and you thought she was dead. Yes. Tell the yes. truth, you lying bitch! Yes. What do you mean? Tell the truth! Oh. Oh my 